Hey, it's Paul. Let's upgrade our native script projects to 3.0. Now, if you've not made a native script application before, this is super simple. So all we need to do is say npm install native script dash G. This will install the native script CLI for 3.x. And of course, any projects that we make with that CLI will automatically be 3.x. After installing the native script CLI, let's take a look at the dependencies of a newly created project with that updated CLI. So from within our native script repos directory, I'm going to run TNS create hello world. And that is essentially saying Telerik native script, the CLI, create a new project named hello world and use the following template. The template is going to be the native script template ng tutorial. This is an Angular project up and running with native script. So our project has now been created. Let's take a look at that inside of Visual Studio Code. If we take a look inside of our package.json, we can see the type of things that have changed within the 3.0 release. We have our native script Angular now being 3.0. Angular is 4.x and above. And the TNS core modules are 3.x and above. If we compare that to, for example, an older native script application on 2.x, we have an older package here on the right, and this was built with the native script 2.5 CLI. Let's upgrade this to instead use the native script 3.0 dependencies. We first need to install the TNS core modules at version 3.0. You can see this has now been upgraded inside of our project. We then need to install the native script Angular package at 3.0. We do get a lot of warnings telling us that we need to install a higher version of Angular. So let's fix that. Here we're updating all of the Angular packages to be their latest version. If we install that, we can see the differences. Our Angular now becomes 412. And it's telling us we now need to install a higher version of RxJS and Zone.js. So let's fix this by installing Zone.js at latest and RxJS at latest. And finally, let's upgrade our native script dev TypeScript dependency. And now you can see our TypeScript has been upgraded to 2.32 and our native script dev TypeScript to 0.4.4. Now, there are some differences between the project that we just upgraded and the template that we created in new Angular native script project with. And this just reflects the fact that the template is not currently up to date with all of the latest dependencies. But this is just an overall reflection about how you need to keep your projects up to date with the latest changes. If you fail to do so, then upgrading in the future obviously makes it harder because more and more things change as time goes by. So in this video, we looked at taking an older native script Angular project and upgrading it to 3.0. As time goes by, things will continue to develop. And if you'd like to see more native script videos, then of course, hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments section below. I have a guide coming out very soon showing how we can make native script plugins. So look forward to that one. And until next time, my name's Paul and I'll see you very soon in the next video.